Marie Johns. I'm the founder of Lose Weight by Eating, and I want to show you how to make a really, really yummy avocado dip. I love avocados. I love Greek yogurt, and I also love jalapenos, especially when they're pickled. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. It's pretty much my th three favorite ingredients. What I've done is I've already cut up some of these avocados, and I'm just going to scoop them out into my food processor. I'm going to help them out a little bit just by kind of chop, chop, chop and then just scrape it out. Let's just help the food processor along a little bit. You don't want to put a whole entire avocado in there. Here we go. Mm. And I want to show you a trick. I can't tell you how often I've done the whole thing and cut myself. I don't know, maybe I'm just too clumsy for it, but if you've got a nice ripe avocado, all you need to do is just stick your finger under there and it will come out for you. You don't need to get all fancy with it if you're a little too worried about being clumsy like I am. All right, last one. Now we're gonna add in the hot jalapeno peppers. And I love the flavor that you get when you get a pickled jalapeno pepper. It's not so green, it's not so citrus. It really has an intensity to it. And it adds a lot of great flavor to this. So I'm gonna add one whole jalapeno pepper. These ones happen to be sliced, so I'm gonna do about five or six slices. If you do not like heat, take out the ribs, and the seeds. And then you won't have all of that hotness. You will still have some because it has been marinating in it, but it won't be quite as bad. And then I'm gonna do about a half of a tablespoon of the delicious juices. <laughs> so good. Okay, now we need some garlic, because life is not complete without garlic. And I'm gonna smash it real good. Look at that. Take all my aggression out on you. I'm sorry, Mr. Garlic. There you go. Next one, two cloves of garlic. And we're almost done. This is so easy. It's just a matter of throwing everything inside the processor. We're gonna do one Roma tomato. Any tomato will work here. I'm just gonna, like I said, help out the processor. And I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit. All right, one whole tomato. And then just about a quarter of a red onion. And I like red onion in this because it's not quite as strong as a white onion would be. If you have shallots, this would, that would work very well also. Yum, yum, yum. All right, like I said, I'm just gonna help it out. A couple quick chops. We are almost done. I'm breaking a sweat, it's so hard. <laughs> gonna add a little bit of salt, about a tablespoon, because there's nothing worse than avocado that's not properly seasoned. And then, right before we turn this on, we're gonna add just a little bit of dill. And you only need just a little bit. Okay, so to this, I'm only gonna add about a half a cup of Greek yogurt. I just wanna give it a nice creaminess. I don't wanna turn it into a Greek yogurt dip. It is an avocado dip, it's a guacamole. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Here we go, we're just gonna pulse it. I don't wanna completely ruin it. I want it to still have a little bit of chunks in it. And that's why I didn't chop up everything completely, because I want it to be a little on the chunky side. All right, that's it. Look how absolutely gorgeous that is. All right, I got my bowl. I can't wait any longer. I really, really, really love my guacamole. All right, let's try and clean that off a little bit. Here we go. Look at that color. It gives it such a nice creaminess with the Greek yogurt. I truly do love it. I've got some chips here that I made. I love making my own homemade chips. All I take is whole, whole wheat flour tortillas, and then I put a little bit of olive oil, some salt, and some garlic powder, and then you can also put any other, you wanna put some chili powder, or you wanna put some parsley, that works well also. And then I just cut them up with a pizza cutter, just like I'm uh, cutting up a pizza. You can also use a sharp knife, and I stick it in the oven 325 degrees for about 35 minutes, but watch them, because they do brown quickly. I'm just going to plate these. And I love this because it's a great lose weight by eating dip. Lots of great ingredients that, between the jalapenos and the Greek yogurt. You're boosting your metabolism by eating this and it will absolutely impress all your friends. So, I am going to try some. This is great with corn too. If you have frozen corn, you want to toss some in maybe on top. Really, really good to add like some extra texture. Mmm. Oh my, the dill. The dill adds such an amazing flavor. I've never put it in a guacamole before, but I had to today. 
It's just fantastic. And I think I'm going to make it with dill every single time from here on out. This is an amazing pickled jalapeno guacamole. Again, my name is Audrey Johns. I'm the founder of Lose Weight by Eating, and I hope to see you here back to see many, many more of my delicious recipes. Happy cooking. Thank you.